This video is about the causes of galactorrhea. When we break down the word, galacto means milk and rhea means flow. Together, that gives us the meaning of milk flow. Usually, milk flow occurs when females feed their newborns. However, there are diseases where the breasts release milk when the person is not pregnant or nursing a baby. And by the way, this can happen to men because men have breast tissue, but just in a much smaller amount. I want to mention that breast milk can initially come in various colors, including clear, white, black, and green. A doctor may test the fluid for fat to ensure the liquid is milk and not blood or pus. For this reason, colors such as red or brown would be more concerning. With that clarified, let's take a moment to understand how the body produces milk in the first place. This is the anatomy of the human breast. Within the breasts are structures called lobes and ducts. Milk is created in the lobes and travels through the ducts to the nipple. A chemical in the body, specifically a hormone called prolactin, tells the lobules to produce milk. When there's excessive prolactin in the blood, it's referred to as hyperprolactinemia. Hyperprolactinemia naturally occurs around childbirth so that milk can be produced for the newborn. But when blood tests reveal hyperprolactinemia outside of a recent delivery, a doctor must consider whether the body is producing too much prolactin or not getting rid of it. We'll start with determining if the body is making too much. So where does the hormone prolactin come from? It comes from the body's pituitary gland, part of the brain. Whenever a part of the body becomes cancerous, it may produce more of its usual chemicals. In this case, cancer of the pituitary gland can result in much more prolactin being made. A tumor in the pituitary gland that produces prolactin is called a prolactinoma. Now we have our first reason. Next is birth control. One of the reasons that prolactin increases during pregnancy are the increased amount of the hormone estrogen in the blood. Some forms of birth control use estrogen. For this reason, birth control can sometimes cause galactorrhea. If birth control is the reason, the galactorrhea usually disappears within a few months. That gives us a second reason. Next, we need to discuss an organ called the thyroid gland found in our neck. One of the thyroid gland's role in the body is to produce a hormone called thyroid hormone. When the body is low on thyroid hormone, the body will tell the thyroid gland to produce more. The body does this by releasing another hormone, thyrotropin releasing hormone, or TRH for short. Unfortunately, TRH also promotes the increase of prolactin in the body. In patients with thyroid disease, the body may constantly produce TRH, resulting in increased prolactin. Now we have three. Dopamine, another hormone in the body. This hormone is most known as the one that makes people feel happy and motivated. Dopamine also decreases the amount of prolactin in the blood. For this reason, medications that decrease the amount of dopamine will indirectly increase the amount of prolactin. In addition, head injuries can damage the part of the brain responsible for producing dopamine. So here are four reasons why too much prolactin could be made in the body. With that covered, what if a person's hyperprolactinemia is due to not enough prolactin being removed from the body? For this, we bring up the body's kidneys. The kidneys are important for removing excess prolactin from the body. If someone's kidneys are unhealthy, their body may have difficulty removing prolactin from their bloodstream. We've now gone over different ways a person could have hyperprolactinemia. But what do we do about hyperprolactinemia? Treatment will be based on addressing the cause of hyperprolactinemia. To keep this video short, I will go over treatment for addressing specifically hyperprolactinemia. Remember how one of dopamine's roles is decreasing the amount of prolactin in the blood? We have two medications, one called cabergoline, the other is called bromocryptine. Both medications can replace dopamine to reduce the amount of prolactin in the blood. This concludes the video. 
As always, thank you for watching. Comment below on any medical topics you are interested in learning more about. Also, please feel free to leave any feedback on how these videos can better serve you.